Hey guys, so for this tutorial, I'll be using my size 3.5 millimeter hook, my scissors, stitch marker, and my yarn. So for this, I'll be using two different colors, which is my black and white yarn. And you can use as many colors of your choice, or you can use just two colors, but make sure you're using more than one color so that the chevron pattern is going to be visible. So now for the measurement, because I want my sweater to be quite oversized, I took my waist measurement, sorry, my bust measurement, and I added an extra 4 inches. But you can make it fitted or oversized, depending on how you want the sweater to be. Now, for the chevron stitch, I'm going to be working in 4 sets. The first 3 set is going to have a total of 27 stitches, and the last set is going to be 25 stitches, plus an extra 6 stitches making it 112 chains. Now you're going to understand what I mean by that when I start, but for now, I'm just going to start by making my foundation chain, which is 112. Now I have a total of 112 chains. So from my calculation, three sets will be 27, which is three times 27 is 81. Plus the last set is going to be 25, which is going to make it 106 plus um, an extra six chains which is 112 so now start by chaining one in the first stitch go in with one double crochet going to the next stitch with one double crochet now you're going to skip one stitch so you're skipping one stitch and go into the next Sorry, skip one stitch, go into the next um, 12 stitches with one double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So you have twelve double crochets. In the thirteenth stitch, go in with three double crochets. Now put one double crochet in the next twelve stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 so now you have a total of 25 stitches so 12 plus 1 plus 12 making it 25 now skip the next two stitches and go into the next 12 stitches so from this point ignore those first three stitches where you have two double crochet and a skip stitch so from this first um stitch here down to this point where you skip two stitches you have your first set so you have 27 stitches now the next set go into the next 12 stitches you've skipped two stitches remember so go into the next 12 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve in the thirteenth stitch go in with three double crochets
Now put one double crochet in the next 12 stitches. And 12. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and go into the next stitch with a double crochet. You have your second set. So you're repeating what you did for the first set. So go into the next 12 stitches, one, two. Now I'm done with the third set. Skip two stitches, go into the next 12 stitches. For the last set, Going to the next 12 stitches with one double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 in the 13th stitch go in with three double crochets one two and three in the next 12 stitches go in with one double crochet one Now you have a total of three stitches left. Skip one stitch and go into the last two stitches with one double crochet. So for the first four set, which is one, you have 27 stitches. The second set, you have 27 stitches. The third set, you have 27 stitches. For the last set, you have a total of 25 stitches. Now I'm just going to switch. So now I'm just going to switch my color. So yarn over through both hands. If you have a better way of joining your colors, you can use that. Chain one with the white hand. Turn over. And the first two stitches go in with one double crochet. One, two. Skip the next stitch. And go into the next 12 stitches with one double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 and 12 now I've come to the peak in the peak go in with three double crochets so in the peak go in with three double crochets one two and three Put one double crochet in the next 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12 
now skip the next two stitches one two so skip one two and go into the next 12 stitches with one double crochet two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so you're going to get to the peak in the peak go in with three double crochets one two and three continue with one double crochet in the next row of stitches so you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row with one double crochet in the next row of stitches Now I have one double crochet in 12 stitches. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and go into the next 12 stitches with one double crochet. So you're repeating this to get to the end of the row. You're just going to put one double crochet in 12 stitches when you get to the peak. So when you get to I have three double crochets in the middle stitch, go in with three double crochets and continue with one double crochet in 12 stitches and then skip the next two stitches so you're definitely going to see where you'll be skipping each time you get to this point you're going to skip those two stitches now i'm just going to do this like get to the end of the row now i've come to the end of the row and i have three stitches left skip one stitch and go into the last two stitches with one double crochet so from this point you're going to repeat what you did for row two so you're going to put one double crochet in the first two stitches skip one stitch and go into the next row of stitches with one double crochet and you're going to get to the peak where you're going to do three double crochets continue with one double crochet in the next 12 stitches and then skip the next two stitches which is the um, second angle and just continue till you get to the end of the row now when you get to the end of the row skip one stitch and go into the last two stitches with one double crochet so you're going to have three stitches left at the end of each row and you're going to skip one stitch and go into the next the last two stitches with one double crochet so at the beginning you're putting one double crochet in two stitches and skipping one stitch at the end you're skipping one stitch and going into the last two stitches with one double crochet now i'm going to continue with the pattern so you're going to repeat row two to get the length you want well, i'm done with the front panel and i did a total of 32 rows alternating between the two colors now what you're going to do is you're going to attach your yarn at the beginning of the first row so because the pattern is zigzag and you want to make it straight you're just going to attach your yarn yeah because you want to work on the neckline and you want the neckline to be straight so start by chaining one Going to the first stitch with one single crochet and the next stitch with one single crochet now you're just going to keep on putting one single crochet in each stitch till you get to the peak so just working one single crochet in each stitch Now I've gotten to the peak in this stitch where you have those three double crochet stitches. Go in with three single crochets. So one, two, and three. Now put one single crochet in the next few stitches till you get to the next peak.
So I've gotten to the next pick. What you're going to do is you're going to skip these two stitches. So remember, this is the chain two, the chain two that we skipped at the beginning of the first row when we're walking this way. So you're just going to skip those two stitches of this pick and go into the next stitch with one single crochet. Now continue with one single crochet in each stitch till you get to the next pick. In this stitch where you have this three double crochets, go in with three single crochets. So you're just going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row. So each time you get to the peak where you have three double crochets, you're going to go in with three single crochets. And when you get to this peak, you're going to skip these two stitches and go into the next stitch with one single crochet. So just keep on doing this till you get to the end of the row. Okay, so now I'm done straightening the two panels, the front and the back panel. Now what you want to do is you want to form the neckline. So what I did was I stitched 25 stitches away from this end and then I did the same for the other end. So from this point to this point, I have 25 stitches. And then I just left the hole for the neck in the middle. So for the sleeves, you're going to repeat what you did for the body of the sweater. The only difference is the amount of stitches you're going to be using. So, I already worked on one sleeve and I'll show you how I did the sleeve. So, what I did was each section has a total of 23 stitches. So, minus the 6 stitches, which is uh, 3 stitches on this end and the 3 stitches on this other end. One angle from this point, sorry, so from this point down to this point i have a total of 23 stitches now i did that in two so I so i did um three sections two sections 23 plus 23 which is 46 now this last session which is the last set is 21 stitches so the last um set you're going to minus two stitches and have a total of 21 stitch stitches sorry plus six making it 73 so you can manipulate the amount of stitches you want so for example if you have 21 stitches for each sections the last section is going to be 19 stitches so it all depends on how um how you want the pattern to be like i said you can manipulate the amount of stitches you have but i have a total of 23 stitches for each sections and then the last session i have a total of 21 stitch stitches sorry so i'm just going to start by making a chain of 73 because i have two sessions like i said which is 46 plus 21 which is 67 plus the six extra stitches making it 73 So now I have a total of 73 stitches. For the first row, start by chaining one. In the first two stitches, go in with one double crochet. So one and two. Now skip the next stitch. So you're skipping the third stitch and go into the first stitch with one double crochet. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put one double crochet in the next 10 stitches. So I have one, two three four five six seven eight nine and ten in the eleventh stitch Go in with three double crochets. One, two, 
and three. So you have your first pick. Now going to the next 10 stitches with one double crochet. I have one double crochet in 10 stitches what you're going to do is you're going to skip the next two stitches and go into the third stitch with one double crochet now put one double crochet in the next nine stitches making it 10 so like I said you're just repeating what you did for the body of the sweater and I'll let you know how many rows I end up doing I've come to this next pick you're going to skip this two stitches skip these two stitches where you have this stitch that you skipped and go into the next stitch with one double crochet now put one double crochet in the next 10 stitches so one two three so you're just repeating what you did for the body of the sweater So you're just repeating what you did for the body of the sweater the only difference is the amount of stitches i have which you can modify depending on how you want so each angle has about 23 stitches so from this first you're going to ignore this first two stitches so starting from this third stitch down to where you have this peak you have 23 stitches and you're just going to keep on doing that till you get to the end of the row. So like I said, you can modify the amount of stitches you want. So if you remember the body of the sweater, the amount of stitches I had, I had were different. So it all depends on how you want to manipulate the stitches. So you can increase the amount of stitches for each angle or you can decrease the amount of stitches for each angle. But for now, you're just repeating what you did for the body of the sweater. So when you come to... The next pick where you have your three double crochet stitches you're going to go into the middle stitch with three double crochet now i'll just do this and when i get the line i want for my um sleeve i'll let you know how many rows i end up doing come to the end of the first row for the second row i'll just switch my color to my white yarn so start by chaining one yarn over through both colors chain one with the white hand now turn over in the first two stitches go in with one double crochet one two skip the very next stitch and go into the next stitch with one double crochet now you're just going to put one double crochet in the next 10 stitches till you get to the peak where you have your three double crochet stitches Now I've gotten to the pick in this middle stitch where you have those three double crochet stitches. Go in with three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now put one double crochet in the next 10 stitches till you get to the next pick. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now I'm done with the sweater and I'm done with the sleeves. So what I did was I joined the two panels together, the front and the back panel 
on the sides and then i just attached my sleeve and used my needle to stitch the sleeve to the body of the um the top sorry the body of the sweater so this is what the sweater looks like so you're just going to do the sleeves separately like i did and then just attach it using your needle and thread or your hook depending on which you prefer so this is what the sweater looks like thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe if you love my videos i'll see you guys in my next tutorial